All right, on today's Patreon, a moment happened that I couldn't resist. I had to share it with the world, not just the folks on Patreon. This is just a little Patreon highlight for you. Kind of an example of what we do. What we do. Like it's a group. It's me. What I do on the Patreon. On ad-free, listener-supported Patreon. I was playing some story about John Fogarty from Cleden's. Uh, Cleden's. Gosh darn it. Cleden's Clearwater Revival. Uh, getting the rights to his own songs back or something like that. And then uh, something uh, popped in my brain about retelling an unbelievable story that happened to me back in the day. You must check this out. It's part of the uh, Patreon, the full show, patreon.com slash Eric Zane. Again, ad-free, listener-supported. So if you like listening to the free podcast and you're like, oh, shit, it's over. I wish there was more to listen to. There's plenty more. There's the Patreon. I put hours and hours of material up there each and every week. That's the lion's share of my work on the Patreon. The idea when I launched the podcast was do the free one, but tell them about the Patreon and the free one and get them to sign up for it. So you're missing out if you're not part of it patreon.com slash eric zane that's p-a-t-r-e-o-n.com slash eric zane try it for just one month see if you like it and then uh cancel it right after you sign up i mean i'm actually encouraging you sign up then cancel it and then try it out if after the end of the 30 days you don't like it don't do nothing don't do nothing don't do anything it will not renew i don't want you to get charged twice because you forgot to Uh, cancel it i would rather you try it not worry about it and then off you go but then if you like it then just re-sign up that's all you do um and if you really like it you can uh, sign up for one full year and i'll take 10 percent off of the cost it's so simple and uh and smart i like doing it that way i don't like anybody getting stuck with a charge that they don't want so there you go that's what's up on patreon Five or ten bucks a month. Five bucks a month is all the audio. Ten bucks a month is the audio, the video, the live streams. Enjoy this free view, this classic telling of the John Foger. A uh, John Foger. My God, that I, that I think I almost said a, a slur there. John Fogarty, NFK PTSD incident. Here you go. Julie spearheaded the return of the songs John calls his soul, erasing decades of anger. I get up in the morning and it. All of that's forgotten. I'm a family man, uh, and I love being that guy. This is worth uh, retelling. I've told it a thousand times, but it's it's still worth retelling. Now, this is one of my favorite artists of all time. I love this guy. And I was so stoked, so stoked at the idea of him coming to town. All right. And uh, he was making an appearance at Pine Knob Music Theater. I went and got a ticket and I bought two more because I knew two other people would love to go. And the timing was perfect. We were a year removed from the NFK's brain surgery man hadn't had a seizure in 12 months Uh, because of the uh, very powerful medicine he would take regularly coupled with the surgery no seizures finally saved his life so he could go on and have a wonderful life being uh, a very uh, unshowered and with feces smudges all around my house and taking a shit in his pants so Gary and the tailor could fix his pants at men's warehouse. Fuck. We get into Dave's car. He's uh, he's driving a Chrysler LeBaron, powder blue of all things, with a white top Chrysler LeBaron convertible. He goes, we're going to go in style. And I'm like, yeah, fuck yeah, let's go in style. I'm like, why is this style? I don't know. He goes, you drive. I go, fuck yeah, put the top down. NFK's in the back of the LeBaron. Dave's next to me. We get to Pine Knob. Dave smokes pot. I watch him. We walk into the joint. There's a fucking giant amphitheater. We're on the hill. There's all the uh, seats. We got lawn seats. I don't give a fuck. I just want to hear it. And the fucking... And Fogarty 
opens up with my favorite of all time Creedence song, A Run Through the Jungle, the one he's just playing there. Now, this you've heard this song when you see the Huey helicopter landing. Get some! Shooting Charlie. Usually they're playing that song at... The band's music was synonymous with the Vietnam War era. And I'm like, oh, my God. Fuck yes. Fogarty. Yes. I love this so much. He comes out, John Frick goes, hey, everybody. How you doing? Yeah, we're going to run through the jungle. What? I, he didn't say it, but all of a sudden I hear the uh, the starting chords. I'm like, oh, it's it. It's it. Fuck yes. He's opening with my favorite fucking song of all time by Greedence. Dave and I, and I, and the crowd's going bananas, man. There's people everywhere. I looked at Dave. I go, yes, dude, fuck yes. Fogarty, he says, it's going to be awesome. And he goes, oh, I know, I know. I go, yeah, cat. And I look to my left, and there's no Kevin. I go, what, did he wander off? I look around, and this is a deep, this is a big hill. You know, it's set up so the amphitheater, the uh, performers are at the at, on the stage, and then it's like a, a, a incline all the way up with the seats, and then beyond that, the hill. So it's amphitheater so much of a hill that if a human uh had a seizure and was on the ground they would would roll the scene if you can picture this in your mind's eye i'm looking down people have blankets and chairs and and things like that and uh that they bring and uh, 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 people are, are, they're getting out of the way. They're like parting as, as he's rolling down through people's fucking, uh, picnic baskets and foldable chairs and blankets. And, and it's him. He's rolling down the goddamn hill. I go, Dude, what the fuck? And he goes, I don't know. So we go down with, excuse us, excuse us, excuse us. Oh, and he's good dude and now he he doesn't remember any of this this goes on for this is a grand mall this is a doozy this is his body paying him back you thought you beat me fuck you I'm surprised it wasn't like little electrical arcs shooting out of his brain. It was so fucked up. I'm like, Jesus Christ, what the fuck? And the song. It's it's the soundtrack. I'm watching him roll down to I run through the jungle. I run through the jungle and don't look back again. So then I'm running through the jungle of people. Get the fuck out of the way! Don't fucking touch him! And so I get, I sit him up, and uh, I see the cavalry, all these fucking pine knob people coming with the red shirts with white letters on the tit. What's going on here? I go, he had a seizure. Ow! I go, what? I go, he's fine. I go, fuck you. Get out of here. Well, how the fuck can you say get out of here? Is that what you do to somebody who's having a medical emergency? Fuck you. Get out. Oh, fucking shit. And then I'm up. So I'm walking away, you know, and every step, Fogarty is getting more and more faint. It's just the slowest faint. 737 coming out of the sky. Won't you take me down to Memphis on a midnight ride? I want to move that daddy by it in a traveling van. Oh, yeah. With a time cause I'm That was it. Such a shit show. Stevie knows. She says the hill ends with a three foot concrete wall onto a sidewalk. Adam says, I feel like I should not be laughing. Ah, fuck. All right, that's it. Uh, Part of what was on Patreon, the most recent episode. 
If you like it, go to patreon.com, sign up for ad-free listener-supported Patreon. Thank you so much, folks, for the time. Bye-bye.